Welcome back to Stoffer Garage. Guys, today's video is going to be a super wash your car video. I'm gonna show you how to use a foam can along with the two bucket method to super clean your car. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below of what you would like to see next. Today's video is also a giveaway for a $100 gift card to autogeek.com so you guys can pick up some new detailing supplies for spring. This giveaway will go on for a month so make sure you leave that comment below so I can pick the winner in the next 30 days. Since I live in Ohio, you have the salt on the roads from all the snow, so my car is extremely dirty as you can see in these video clips. I have lots of dirt buildup on each side of the car, especially the rear and above the wheel wells, but definitely gonna be able to tackle all that with the methods that I'm showing today. So the pressure washer that I use is from Sun Joe that I picked up off of Amazon. It is an electric pressure washer with the right pressure rating to match my foam cannon. My foam cannon is picked up from autogeek.com and then also my grit guards were picked up off their site. Take your foam cannon soap and add it to your bottle with some water, and when you mix it up, it allows the foam cannon to produce a much better soap solution on your car, and then attach it to your pressure washer. I have to say the foam can is probably the best tool I've ever picked up for detailing. It makes your life so much easier by creating a thick layer of foam over top of your car, that as it falls off your car, it takes a lot of the dirt with it. It really makes your life easier when it comes to using a sponge to wash your car because a lot of the heavy dirt on your car has been pulled off and then your sponge doesn't fill up with as much grit so that way you have less likely of an opportunity to scratch your paint. I usually use the pressure washer first to start rinsing off the car because depending on if you're washing it outside or in the shade, you're gonna get some of that soap drying. The pressure washer really helps with doing a good job of getting that dried soap off the car. Definitely start with the top of the vehicle and work your way down. All right, for the two bucket method, add your grit guards to the bottom, fill one bucket with just plain water and the other bucket have your soap and water mix. I like to start with the wheels first because they usually are the most tedious and dirtiest portion of the car at this point. Um, so I have a separate wash mitt just for this task to clean all those nooks and crannies, but then also the outside of the uh, tire itself. So at this point, the pressure washer isn't needed. I just use a standard hose to sheet water off the car and clean off the soap. It also helps if your car is waxed and polished where you just get a minor beating for when you're drying. So for each time that the wash mitt is soaked in soap, I like to do one panel at a time, and then I could flip it over and do another panel, but always start from the top and work your way down because the lower you get on the car, typically that means that it's more dirty. So you start at the top of your door, and when you get to the bottom of the rocker panel and the door sill, that's usually where most of the dirt is collected. As you're washing your car, be conscious of the sunlight because the sunlight is going to dry that soap that is collected on the surface. So as you get through each panel, go ahead and rinse it off as well um, so that way that soap residue doesn't have a chance to dry. So now it is time to dry the car. I have a specific microfiber that I like to use from Cobra called the Guzzler. I usually have several of these packs lying around, but they do an amazing job. They are the biggest towel that they have, and usually I can get away with doing the full car with just two towels.
When drawing your car, always start at the top, usually on the roof, and work your way down. And be conscious when you get down towards the bottom of the car and around the tires to not allow the towel to contact those surfaces because they will collect dirt and pick it up and then you will be touching your paint with it and scratching it. So just be conscious of that as you work your way down. So as you get to know your car more, I know that sounds weird, you figure out the different areas where water will collect and drip even after you've dried the car. So in my particular case, around the windowsill trim, and then also around the mirrors, you'll find different areas of your car that collect water and then will continue to drip even as the car dries. So just pay particular attention to those areas so as you dry the rest of the car, the water won't drip down and dry and leave that watermark that you're trying not to produce. So one of the most satisfying parts to the detail for me is actually cleaning the door jams and around the trunk itself. Because you spend so much time getting in and out of the car, it's one of those neglected areas that a lot of people miss, but cleaning those door jams underneath the door, around the door trim itself, and in the door sill, it really just gives you that little extra edge when you clean your car to make it that much more appealing. So this isn't a full in-depth engine detail. If you guys are interested in that video, let me know in the comments below and I'll go ahead and make one of those. But for this task, we're just simply going around and drying and collecting any of that water that has actually accumulated in the engine bay. So around the fenders, the engine cover, the battery covers, there's several places where you'll find water. One of the most neglected places that you'll actually find is the underneath side of the hood. You'll see where water has kicked up and dirt has kicked up and it has collected on your hood. So just with your wet towel that you've been using, go ahead and wipe those areas off and you'll be surprised at how much of an improvement this makes on your car. It'll make it look 10 times better.
So that is it for today's video on how to super clean your car. If you like this video, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below of what video you'd like to see next. So if you want to enter into that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed, you leave a comment below, and I'll be announcing the winner in the next couple videos. So be on the lookout for that. And thank you guys so much for watching today, and I'll see you next time.